I don't know about you guys, but when I heard about this being rumored, first of all, courtesy of Drops GG on Twitter, big up them. They always post great fucking news and you know great kind of fucking details about collections and prices and just generally always being on the button. They mentioned before, oh yeah, big collaborations happening, Martin Rhodes and Supreme, and everyone kind of got excited, myself included. Now that I've seen the pieces, I'm even more excited. I know a lot of people have had a lot of bad things to say about this collection or this collaboration, but I personally think it's fucking fire. Now, I'm not too sure if some of the people who are not liking it are just maybe not fans of Martin Rose in general, or maybe they're expecting more, maybe because they are fans of Martin Rose, they're expecting more like runway esque level Martin Rose but I think because it's a collaboration with, with Supreme and the quantities will be you know super high compared to what she probably produces for her own label um, or for her own fashion brand I think it makes sense that we get a sort of like diffusion line esque Martin Rose for Supreme but it's still amazing it's still got all the right notes to it it's still very unique to look at um, it's still just something that you would instantly want to buy especially someone like myself anyway and the kind of style that i have so over 20 years martin rose has become a hugely impactful voice in a contemporary menswear since debuting her first full runway collection in 2012 martin has honed in has honed a distinct and authentic design and approach that subverts the traditional codes of masculinity and reimagines menswear familiar themes with surprising new slants drawing inspiration from her heritage and the people she meets each day martin proposes new interpretations of ordinary clothes she takes um the seemingly mundane and pushes it into a newness and utilizing unsuspecting fabrication growing up in london um shaped her approach to design the quote says, I had this broad sense of clothing being associated with different nights and different scenes. I had a precious experience of dance, music and cultures. It wasn't fashion. My family is Jamaican and there's a very, very particular respect for style. Fashion was something almost basic. Um, if you had style, that was something else. Supremo's worked with Martin Rose on a new collection for the fall 2024. The collection consists of leather jackets, blah, 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 blah. Supreme and Martin Rose um have produced a 44 page black and white photo zine as well to document the collection all profits from the zine will be donated to the saint giles trust a uk charity helping people affected by homelessness substance abuse or violence transform their lives and make meaningful change yo that is so fucking cool all profits by the way not a portion of the profits all profits so give martin rosa fucking flowers and big up supreme for putting this together too number one let's just start off with the pieces that i obviously love because there's too much stuff in here to get through we couldn't get through all of it anyway, the fuck. so the leather jacket fucking love would wear the fuck out of it um again reminds me of something that you would find in a vintage shop somewhere also reminds me of those like lucky eight strike jackets with this sort of like triangle panel dart thing at the, at the front love the look of that not gonna lie the back of it looks fucking fantastic martin rose supreme mrs i fucking love that sub label this Parker for me is hands down one of my favorite items. This is something that I would buy in a fucking heartbeat. The Parker is fucking fire. Um, down Parker, you'd imagine standard garb. On the chest here, you got the MRS. Now more than anything, got the pouch on the front chest pocket. You've also got a nice kind of rubberized, I think what looks like label here on the sleeve. That's also said MRS. And you've also got some branding on the zips as well. So straight up easy cop. That Parker is an easy fucking cop. And of course on the back, you've also got Martin Rose Supreme. If I was being picky, I wouldn't prefer the logo on the back. You've already got on the front, but I fucking love it. You've got another, um, the same jacket, sorry, in blue without the hood on, I'm assuming. I think it's the same jacket in blue there without the hood, which is really nice as well. But I think that the, the one with the different, with every sort of puffer being different color is probably better for me. I personally think I think that looks probably a little bit better. Um, you've also got a suit. You've got a cheetah print shirt on there. It's wearing on the inside. The suit, I'm not really that bothered about, to be completely honest, but so that'd be great. This Velour track suit is another big win for me, personally. This Velour track jacket is fucking great. Um, another Velour track jacket, I think it's a bit different. No, it's the same colorway, sorry, same style, different colorway. That's fucking brilliant. I'd wear the fuck out of it. I actually like how he's wearing it. Um, it's very um, pimp. It's very gangster. It's kind of, it reminds me of people that would have won something in ends from where I am in the area that I'm from in London. But I love the combination of the velour tracksuit with some nice leather loafers. 
that looks fucking hard. I wear the fuck out of that. The jean jacket, which I think is reversible. The denim jacket that must that might be reversible is fucking amazing. It reminds me of this old um Voy. I think they were Voy jeans. It was sort of like a I don't know if it was even legit. I remember I bought some Voy jeans or Voy jeans suit in like Dawson back in the day from Dawson Market or Hackney Market. And um they used to have these Voy jeans and they have like different words kind of like sprayed across the jean jacket. One big, some big, some small font. And it would be some faded, some not faded. So that's, that's what that kind of reminds me of. So, you know, old school fucking like yard man in Dawson and shit will be wearing these sort of things, whole suits. Now, that used to be an actual look. People don't do that nowadays anywhere, but that used to be a look back in the day, wearing denim suits and then wearing Air Maxes, usually Air Max 95s. And they usually have maybe an, an Armani exchange t-shirt on or something. So to really kind of show that you're flexing. So, I mean, and, and some leather pants as well, which look pretty cool. Um, the, that's the jacket reversed. Um, you've got this quilted orange liner, which looks fucking brilliant. I'm not gonna lie, I love that. And it's got a big, big Martin Rose logo on the back. That reminds me of a mat you'd see somewhere in the snooker hall or on a beer mat in a local pub. So again, it's just giving great vibes. I love everything about it. I'm not gonna lie. The leather pants there look fucking incredible too. I love the look of these leather pants. Those look so fucking great. I love the paneling on the side as well. I'm, freak, I'm assuming they could probably come with a jacket. Then one of my favorite pieces for me is this bag. This is a perfect size for a DJ bag. And it's got the MRS on there as well. Um, the strap here that kind of goes around your body, which I think is a perfect fit. And there's a couple of loops here on the top and some pockets here on the side. But this is a perfect DJ everyday bag that I would carry. I love it. I love one of these. And, you know, I'm a stickler for bags or I've got shit in my pocket. So this sort of stuff is perfect um that shirt is fucking gorgeous as well not gonna kid not gonna lie it's kind of giving roberto cavalli this is kind of giving roberto cavalli again raver shirt if you know if you know you know the jersey is fucking brilliant i'm not mad at the jersey at all the pants are great there's the uh, this sweatshirt is really nice as well with the diamond print this knitwear sorry top is pretty nice with the logo on the back do yourself a favor <laughs> i love that do yourself a favor yes mate this is pure cockney slang love the look of this um this is really nice as well the same shirt same jumper you know what this guy um what's his name navy blue in it right um uh sage elsa doesn't he kind of look like mo salah you know doesn't he kind of look like mo salah sage elsa if he does cut his hair he would look a lot like mo salah i, I don't know i just realized that now looking at him but <laughs> he kind of does look like mo salah Big up Sage also, big up Navy Blue. Um, <laughs> then we got another hoodie. Look at that hoodie. Oh, look at that hoodie, bro. I love shit like this with the, with the, with the, what do you call it? Um, with the stripes in the blue and the red. And you've got the Supreme logo there written in this handwriting script. Martin Rose written on there as well. Um, I'll just don't fuck with the drawstrings on the hoodie. I'll take those away. The hat looks really cool as well, but that hoodie is fucking buff. I'm not gonna lie. I think that might be the back of the hoodie, maybe. I'm not too sure. I think it might be. Yeah, and there's um there's Paloma Elsa, Sage's sister, the model. She's also wearing another hoodie here that's got patches all over it. I really love. Again, they look like beer mats or like carpets you'd find in pubs written um stitched on the entirety of the fucking hood. Fucking looks amazing. And she's got a dump truck there on the back, right? Just peeking. Reminding man what time it is. Look at her, Paloma just with a dumpy. Big up Paloma still. We continue. Another little hoodie there. We like to see the Clarks. I'm not really that too fond of. I'm not going to lie. The Clarks look a little bit too nuts for me. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. The shirt is pretty decent. Nice t-shirt print there. And again, there's the, the script logo that says, okay in collaboration with yeah i love that shirt i'm not gonna lie that shirt looks fucking brilliant and we've also got another hoodie as well so for me personally if i had to pick i'd say the dj bag the kind of everyday bag is a, is one of the best ones this um down puffer jacket is fucking phenomenal that's something i would definitely um would want to cop it also comes in black um the suit i'm not really too bothered about too much to be fair the suit is actually a good idea if you want to get a martin rose suit this probably would be the cheapest way to get it unless you want to buy obviously the runway piece um but if you want a martin rose you know um suit in your wardrobe that might be a good way, place to get it um the denim the reversible trucker jacket is great as well don't get me wrong 
But again, you know, it's just another denim jacket. I'll probably get the hoodies instead. It also comes in black, which is pretty nice. But obviously the one in blue with the orange lining is definitely the best. Um, the jeans that go with it, with the car the cargo jean things, I'm not really too fond of, I'm not going to lie. This is giving like, you know, when kids from Africa get exchanged and come to live in the UK and come to your school, they usually would wear stuff like this, you know. I'm not really down for denim cargo pants, I'm not going to lie. Um, but we continue, the velour top, the velour tracksuit is fucking killer. So this velour track jacket and also the matching pants, easy cop, easy cop. Wearing these with a pair of fucking gh bass tassel loafers it's on top for you everybody's laughing everybody's happy everybody's having a good time these are fucking brilliant this shirt this roberto carvalho-esque shirt this patchwork shirt is fucking gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i could imagine doing a bunch of eight balls pretending to smoke a cigarette you know what i mean like you know having a popper or two wearing a shirt like this for sure i could definitely envision myself doing that this uh, diamond print sweatshirt is also very nice as well. Sweater. Um, it also comes in that cream color, which I love the look of. This hoodie. The towel hoodie is fucking brilliant too. It all comes off. also comes in black and in a white. Oh, actually, I think that red color that Palomo's wearing is actually maybe the best color. That red color might be the best or maybe the black after. And then you've also got this uh, hooded sweatshirt with the stripes on it. It also comes in black and just the stripes, which I really love the look of. I'm not mad at at all. And then the jersey, you know, you can't go wrong with the jersey. All colors of these are, are great. The white or the black, I wouldn't be too happy or been too mad about having either. The t-shirt with Lee Scratch Perry is really cool as well. You got the Clarks, which are pretty decent, but again, not for me. And then of course, we're gonna go into the bags and the scarves and shit. So the the hat is pretty cool. The hat is a towel patchwork five panel thing, which I think might be actually quite nice to wear because it might actually keep you cool. I'm not going to lie. This might actually be pretty decent to wear. It's a six panel hat, so I don't know if my head is going to fit, but these do look pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. These do look fucking cool. Um, and then, of course, there's matching. I would have wished they would have done the towel. The, the Sorry, I, w I wish they would have done this patchwork design on also the scarf. I think that would have been pretty sick. If they was able to do that patchwork towel design on the scarf, but no. And then also the bag, right? So the, the bag, the colorway to get is definitely this blue one, right? This blue with the khaki thing. This is definitely the colorway to get. It's a fucking perfect DJ bag size. Look at that. And it's got all the Martin Rose branding on it. Like you you rock up to a gig, you know, with your sign is a fucking HD25 stuffed into these and your shitty USB sticks and a couple of fucking, you know, um, converters and whatnot and jacks and whatnot in your pocket or in the patches outside that you're you are feeling yourself and there's also oh look at that there's also a stash can if you want to take some drug ass inside with you as well and there's also a whistle in case you're getting raped you can also blow it so you can get some assistance so big up martin rose for doing that big up supreme for doing that i think this will drop on thursday if not check the website you know what to check it <coughs> you know what to find out 